This video is about a horse named Da Vinci who's recovering from post-traumatic stress disorder in a force-free, pressure-free environment where he moves towards something pleasant rather than away from something unpleasant. This is a Da Vinci update, and this is after the object training video where I was showing how afraid he was of my feet. And this is to show his progress of how well he's doing. Good boy. Good boy. Touch him. Good boy. Yeah. He's still really funny about his ears, but we work a lot with faces. Yes. We do a lot of faces. Work with faces. Yep. Good boy. And I just always try to show him that he's in control, that he can pet himself against my hand. And when he does that, he lets me enter into you know spaces on his head that I couldn't just go to. Good boy, you. So I'm gonna show how he's doing much better with, with my feet. Good boy, good boy. So he's been really good about letting me touch him and I can jump up and he's okay, yes. And I can even pretend like I'm getting on and put my foot up and nothing, nothing even scares him, nothing. So he's been so awesome so I can pretend like I got my foot right up here and jump up and he's not afraid of my foot, no. And I can turn him around, touch right here, turn around. And we can demonstrate the other side of how even this side is not scary. Good boy, good boy. So I can come up and say, hey, we're going for a ride. And I can put my foot up and hoist up. And he's OK. I am so proud of this part with him. We'll put this together. And I'll show you what we've been doing. Come on, you. Step up on your block. Step up on your block. Yeah, good. So we're using the object to ground him, to anchor him. I ask him to step his hind legs over, all the way over. Good boy, good boy. Ask him back up. Good boy, good boy. Yay. And then I tell him, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy, yay. And I get up. And I treat him over here. Good boy. Such a good boy. Yeah, so this way he gets to see me. You know, I can rub my hands all over him. So me being on his back is such a good time. Yeah, that's a good boy. Okay, now I'm gonna put my foot on your back, but it's just gonna be my foot, okay? Just my foot. Nothing, nothing scary. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, yep. Good boy. And I'm gonna put my foot. Good boy. On his back. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Oh. Wonderful. Good boy, good boy. Yay. Good boy. So we'll try that again. Good boy. So I'm pretending like I'm gonna get on. Wonderful boy. And I'll even treat him on this side. So he comes around to get the feeling of me on his back. I'm not getting on. No way. You're a good boy. Look at you being so good. You are good. And I have a feeling Da Vinci's been ridden before. And so I don't know how big of a deal this is to him, but it's a huge deal to me that he's unhaltered and letting me put my scary foot on his back. Good boy. There's nothing restraining him other than my communication with him through the clicker training, through the positive reinforcement. Touch. Good boy, yes. Good boy. Very good. So, and I'm even teaching him head down. Good boy. I'm teaching him cues from here before I get on his back. So, so if I need him to relax, head down. Good boy, this is wonderful. This is so wonderful. Good boy, yeah. So this is kind of close, you know. And down, good boy. That's great. That's great. Very good. 
Very good boy. Yay! So I, I just do a lot of hugging. Yes, and we make this the most fun he's ever had. So it's completely non-threatening. Yay, good. And I'll pretend like I'm getting on his back. Wonderful. And he's okay. Oh, it's kind of a scary foot. You can kind of see how that scared him. But he's okay, and I'll reinforce him a lot. He's like, I didn't expect a scary foot on my back. No. Head down. Wonderful. He's so good. This was excellent. This is Da Vinci with one of our attempts to get him used to the hose with water coming out of it. It has always been a source of just pure fright for him. Here I've got the water running from the hose and I ask him to touch it and to smell it. This is not his first attempt with the hose. This was just to show how we eventually got him used to this. I asked him to first target the running water. And when he did, I would let him know, yep, right answer, that was great. I asked him to touch it and smell it first with his nose, and then, then with my foot, I asked him to paw the water. It seemed like when he was able to paw it and feel it splash, knowing that he was the one creating the splash, it, it seemed to help him a lot, knowing that I wasn't the one getting him wet. What was interesting is the sound of the water hitting the ground full force really scared him. But when I could use my thumb to create a spray, it wasn't as scary. So the sound was definitely a factor. And here, when I spray, I ask him to target the spray. And again, it's much less scary for him. He actually moves toward it. That's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to just spray him because that would be viewed by him as something aggressive on my part. I invited him in to target the spray, which is giving him a choice and giving him a chance to feel like he's not a victim, that, that he has say over what happens. To my delight and surprise, he seemed to really enjoy the water, and it helps that we're in Florida and it was a hot day. I got the biggest kick out of watching him stick his nose in the spray and actually enjoy himself. I mean, it was so bad prior to this that he couldn't even stand next to the water trough when it was being filled because the sound of the water running was so scary for him. Here we are where he's actually letting me spray him, but it was only after he had his initial introduction to, to playing with the water. And we go back, I'll spray him a little bit and then let him play, spray him and let him play. Oh, you cutie. After we got him all wet, I thought this would be a great chance to try something with him. After horses get wet, they love to lay down. And for Da Vinci, who's a horse that's always been most likely feeling like he was a victim and very afraid of what was going to happen to him or what somebody was going to do to him, I decided to see if we could get him to target the ground using probably his desire to lay down and roll anyway. So I had him target the ground with his nose and then with his hooves and then I backed off to give him some space. And sure enough, he did what I thought. And I thought, well, let's go see. Let, let's go over and see if he'll stay down. And he did, which to me speaks volumes, speaks worlds of, of trust here. Because here's a horse that was so petrified of people and everything. And now here he is in a very vulnerable position for a horse, showing me a wonderful example of trust.